news about Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Lonzo Ball, it's been reported that the Chicago Bulls, they've been trying to find deals involving Zach Levine, but the market is just awful for him. Now, Zach Levine, he has a huge contract that nobody most likely wants to take on, and this is probably why it's so hard, but also it was said in the latest set of reports that the Bulls are trying to bundle Zach Levine and Lonzo Ball together in some sort of package deal. Then you got DeMar DeRozan. It's been reported that he said he doesn't want to stay in Chicago anymore just because he's not trying to be a part of that rebuilding process. So signing Giddy and trading Alex Caruso was the final straw, according to the Sun-Times. And, you know, with the Zach Levine thing and the Lonzo Ball, bro, tough deal, tough break, bro. This is literally the Chicago Bulls' fault. You signed Zach Levine to a five-year, $215 million deal, and, and you that was just nonsense. It was nonsense, bro. For a guy who's always had that injury bug lingering around his NBA career, you decided to pay him a, a, a crazy amount of money to get him to stay with your organization. Now it's been proven that he can't stay healthy and you're trying to get rid of him, but everybody else is too damn smart to realize I'm going to take on this big contract. So I don't know what the Bulls are going to do with Zach Levine. I don't know what team could possibly be foolish enough to take on this huge contract for a guy who's been injured time after time after time because he only played 25 games last season and it hasn't been much more than that over the past course of the last few seasons. Because Lonzo Ball, even if you package him in there, Lonzo Ball ain't played a game of basketball since 2022 in January. This isn't the end of 2022. This is January of 2022. So it's no telling that Lonzo is even going to be half the player that he was when he returns from injury. If he even returns from injury. Because this is a risk for everybody. The Bulls have had no direction, bad signings, bad contract after contract for the past three to four years. And now you want to make it better. This is literally their fault. So it's going to get ugly. It's going to get terrible for them because now you're about to lose DeMar DeRozan, someone who's realized that, hey, I don't want to spend the rest of my career with the Chicago Bulls wasting my talent while they try and rebuild and actually figure something out. He wants to go play with a competitor, and I'm not even mad at him. Like, can you even really be mad at DeMar DeRozan for trying to go play with a competitor? He's 34, 35 in that age range. He's been playing some of the best ball of his career in the past few years, and all of that talent is being wasted. So I can't even be mad at, at DeMar DeRozan for trying to go find another team to play with. Your team has no direction, they have no structure, and they finally realize that, okay, this is the direction we want to go since we have players that are unhealthy. You were supposed to switch that around three years ago when your point guard couldn't play basketball for two, two more seasons. That's when you should have said, all right, we need to figure out another direction of where to go. Not, hey, let's wait on this guy and see what can happen after three more years. No, that, that's not it. So the Bulls, they deserve every bit of sorrow they're about to receive. From here, I don't even know where the Bulls can go. Levine has this horrible contract. Good luck getting rid of that contract. I don't think anybody in the league is going to take on that crazy contract for a guy who's unhealthy. Five years, $215 million is just insane to bring a guy who's not going to turn your franchise around. Um, DeMar wants out. You got Giddy, hooray. <laughs> and you just paid Patrick Williams, a guy who didn't really prove himself over the past few seasons. But, hey, go off. Go off, Chicago Bulls. That's all you. Anyway, look, man, shoot us a quick take. 219-413-9405. Let us know what you think um, about any of the free agent deals that's been going on in the NBA, any of the trades that's been happening. I would love to hear about you. Um, there's some news we got coming up. Uh, we're going to cover some of the free agency deals and some things that's been going on. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's halftime.